Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unbagging from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. So I did get two canvases. This will be my first order from them. One is supposed to be a 40 by 50 and then the other one is a 40 by 40. So they both come box. Let's try and turn my phone this way. They have their boxes are with their business name on them. I believe that one is going to be the 40 by 50. It was just a tad bit bigger. Yes. Here's the pictures on the end. So we have the mosaic art heart. And we also have the dragonfly. So this will be my first order with strictly crystal, other than, you know, special shape. But I've not done one that's solely with crystal drills. So we do have the good Mosba boat, some wax, and a pen. It does have a multi-placer. I think it's a six-placer and just a single placer. And then all of our drills are pre-bagged. Oh, they're so pretty. This canvas is really nice. Um, it's not too stiff. It's kind of got a lot of movement. I'm going to fix the cover paper. Okay, so here we go. There is nothing wrong with the canvas. There are a couple of creases from mailing. However, those will lay flat. We do have 25 colors. Um, they are, they do have their canvas completely branded. We've got the Crystal Art Canvas, Crystal Canvas Art Designs, a paint by number concept with their web address. And they have a cute little colorful diamond there. We have our drill numbers, or our kit number, which is AM167. AM167 is also on our kit. I do believe this is going to be true to size. We'll go ahead and measure. And it is 40 by 40. The drill field is very clear. I can make out everything with just my eyes. Wouldn't need a light board to work on it. Go ahead and zoom in. Very clear canvas. And then there's our black with the, it does look like it has the training wheels. I guess that's what it would be called um, as training wheels because there are little wheels around your numbers, but that's okay. Hopefully the diamonds will cover that up. Here's our Rendering of what our picture should look like. And so crystals are going to be different than DMC, but they do have the color number as well as the symbols. We look like we have letters, numbers, and actually no symbols with our 25 different colors. And these are all of our drills. Since this is new to me, I will go ahead and go through these colors. Just real quick. I need to zoom out, sorry. All right. They were not in order. So before, even though they came in the baggies, I would have kitted it up on my own in my storage boxes. 
These are really deep red. But now I have a different system of working on them. So unless I plan on taking this somewhere to work on them, I will be going straight out of the baggies. This one's really pretty. It's like an aqua or a teal. Another blue. Black. Kind of an orange gold. I do like my new setup a lot. I now have enough space to do 44 different colors for one canvas. I can double up in one of my storage boxes if I needed to have a little bit more than that. But it's so nice to just have, these are a really dark green. It's so nice to just have all of your colors out and ready to go. I do have a cat. She hasn't once even really bothered with it. These are like a dark, dark, either red or pink. I can't really, they're really dark. At first I thought they were black, but there is a tinge of color in those. But yes, my cat does not bother my diamond painting. I do leave my table, my drafting table tilted so she doesn't get up on my actual painting. She does not. She hasn't bothered it and she hasn't bothered my drill storage either. These are like a lime green. A pretty green. Emerald green. Maybe a greenish blue. Some purple. There's a lot of pink and reds, pinkish red, and then orange. Right. So that is our first one. I really do like it when the companies are true to size. You feel like you're actually getting what you paid for that way. So again, we have our a little bit different toolkit. Hmm. Um, I believe one side is for square and one side is for round. I've never used one of these trays. So on this side it says two and a half millimeter and this size says two and an eighth. So this one is for rounds, and then the two and a half side is for square. We did get some tweezers and a pen with this kit. Not really sure why it was different. Okay, so on to the dragonfly. Now this canvas feels a little bit stiffer than the other one. It's kind of weird. It feels like the same canvas, just a little bit stiffer. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and fix the cover. Okay, so I'm unable to get this one fully in the picture, but again, we do have the branded canvas. We have 28 colors on this one. I'm gonna bring it down. Um, I do not have a thumbnail with the picture on this one. And we have symbols, numbers, and letters. So this is a little bit different than the other canvas. Um, like somebody else must have done their printing for them. We do have 28 colors. The canvas itself is still very clear. This one has squares. Um, the other one did too. No. Yes. Okay, never mind. So they both have squares. It's just more prominent in this one. 
Um, but everything is clear. I can see everything just fine. I think this one's going to be very pretty. Of course, it has my purples in there. And I don't think I'm going to go through these colors just because I just went through the other ones. And I don't think we'll have any issues with either. Our kit code is AM1, AM017. AM017. So very pretty colors. Pinks and purples and blues. A lot of clear. That's going to be our background color. I do think that this weekend I may put aside my large 90 by 90, um, I call it We the People painting, and work on one of these. And that way I can give you a video with a unbagging as well as a review of the painting. So again, this was our first un one that we unbagged. Our pretty mosaic heart and our butterfly. Um, I also did get some friend mail today um, from one of the groups that I'm in. This one is just if you want to gift just anyone in the group. It's not a swap and somebody sent me a gift. So I thought that was very nice. Ahead and open that and see what we got. Oh, it's another dragonfly. <laughs> I do love dragonflies. So, dragonflies, butterflies, hearts. I do like all of those. And this one is a special shape. And it's showing to be a 30 by 30. And um, this is going to be a 24 by 24. So I thank that her very much. I will have to go on that Facebook page and give her a thanks for getting this for me. That was super nice. It does have nine different colors. So again, these are similar to the kits that I just received. They're crystals with a dark blue, a light, or I'm sorry, a dark purple, a light purple. A, darker blue and then a lighter blue, a pretty green, yellow. Oh, these are clear with the iridescent coating. And these are going to be white uh, with the iridescent. And these are clear, different shaped with the iridescent. Super pretty. That one will be fun to work on and very easy to work on. It reminds me of my jewelry box that I did. So I do thank her very much. I can add the link to that group. If anyone wants to join that group, you can gift somebody and you can also receive gifts from Amazon. Here is our finished mosaic heart from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. So last night I did put one coat of polyurethane min wax on there. I did forget to do my review before putting that on. However, I was having popping drill issues, so I did not want them to come off. But it did turn out beautiful. I did have many, many issues with drills. Um, I have lots of trash. I kind of have a lot of drills left over, so it wasn't that bad. And here are the drills that I have left over. So, I mean, as you can see, I feel like um, the number three was my biggest issue. Let's see if I can't find that one to see how much I have left. Well, I know it was mostly the reds, too. So I had plenty of sevens. I had plenty of the other colors. I mean, I don't think I had a fear of running out. It was just kind of annoying. See, I have plenty left. Um, but I liked multi-place, so sometimes you just don't see that. I think one was an issue also. 
sometimes you'll pick up four in your multi-placer and you don't really see that it was messed up until it got on the canvas and then, but I don't, I didn't have any fear of running out. The only time I had the fear of running out was in the beginning when I started and that all of my threes were like just trash and then I just, I kind of used what I thought would look okay. If you couldn't really see that it was chip, then I would go ahead and use it. But after seeing how much I had left, I probably didn't have to do that. But overall, I had a lot left over. So these will go in my extra storage for another time if might keep them separated just because I did have issues with them, but we'll keep them stored. And I think I had an issue with two also, but again, there's a lot left. Um, I didn't feel the trash drills were enough to contact the company and ask for new ones. Um, so I did just go ahead and push through and complete the painting. And it was kind of hard to know that it was trash until you put it down and then you could kind of see the little chip in the drill. But this is all the trash that was in this painting. Um, most of them had little chips in there. Let's see if we can see this. I don't think it's going to show. Um, it's got a little chip up here in the top. Yeah, I cannot going to be able to get it in focus. And it was, there was a lot of the one color, it was red. Um, so I don't drop drills all over it. It was very, it was pretty frustrating. It took quite a bit of time to go and do this painting. I want to say it was close to 18 hours. I think if I didn't have to look at the drills consistently, because I knew that they were probably going to be chipped, it probably would have went a little bit quicker. See, even with the one coat of Minwax, polyurethane minwax, I'm still getting some drills popping up. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and do a second coat. I mean, I would just rub my hand along and it would pick up a, a drill. Now at least I'm not able to do that. But overall, I do think the image is very pretty. Um, it looks like a 3D heart with all the black around the edge. I think it turned out really pretty. But I will add this to my video um, with my unbagging from Crystal Campus Art Design so you can get an idea of what you would be purchasing, be purchasing from there. I don't have the price on these, but I'll flash that up on the screen so you can see how much this was. I ordered two different paintings from there, so I'll put the price for each one on there. It is very beautiful. I do like the crystal look. It gives more of a shimmery shine. Um, than your regular drills. So anyhow, I do hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all on the next one. Have a great day.